What's up guys, my name is Brandon and just a couple days after releasing iOS 12.3 to the public, Apple is right back at it again with another release and this time it's iOS 12.4 Developer Beta 1. So of course this was just released for developers but it will be available for public beta testers as well later today or tomorrow. So of course in this video we're going to be taking a look around the software, we're going to talk about it and see if anything has changed at all. So you can see here the update came in at 2.68 gigabytes here on my iPhone 10R, which did come from iOS iOS 12.3. Now I did delete my beta profile, so that's why it's such a big update. It probably won't be as big for you if you did still have the beta profile installed, but you can see here it was 2.68 gigabytes. Again, that will vary depending on what version you're coming from and also what device you're on. So let's take a look at the build number now. And you can see there the build number is 16G5027G. So we have a G at the end there, which does usually indicate that this won't be as stable as an A or a B build or something like that. Now that's not always true, but that is usually what that indicates. So for that reason alone, I would advise most people not to update to the very first beta, at least of iOS 12.4, especially if you're on iOS 12.3, at least not on your daily driver device. If you have a device that you don't use a lot, then of course always install the updates. It doesn't really matter because you know if you have bugs or random reboots, it's not gonna really affect your daily life. But anyways, let's talk about what's new. And actually, if we go back into the settings here in general about, you'll see that we do have a new modem firmware update and it's a pretty big update. So we went from 1.05.03 to 1.06. 0.01 there you can see that is for 2018 iPhones specifically and you did also get an update to the modem firmware for older devices as well but of course Apple is really focusing on their newer devices so now what else has changed with iOS 12.4 and really there's not much at all at least nothing outward facing now the Apple card is set to be released very soon in the summer that is Apple's new credit card so iOS 12.4 here is very likely aimed at preparing devices for that card now of course you can't see anything about it now I went inside of the wallet application Apple Pay and all that stuff, but I don't see anything referencing the Apple Card or anything to set up the Apple Card or anything like that. Obviously though, when you do get the Apple Card, iOS 12.4 will be prepared for that. And that's probably what Apple is doing here with this update and probably not really much else. This update is just going to be a lot of minor background fixes, a lot of behind the scenes fixes. Of course, we will also have some security enhancements as well. But if you updated to iOS 12.3, there's really no reason to update to iOS 12.4, at least not the very first beta. Now I will say that in iOS 12.3, I was having some issues with my Bluetooth in my car so I'm hoping that iOS 12.4 does fix that of course it is way too soon to say that I'm not even gonna install this on my daily driver until at least beta 2 but I was having issues with that. I did see some other people report it as well. So I'm hoping it does get fixed. It's not every time, but I did have some cutting out and some not being able to connect to my head unit via Bluetooth. Now, some people were also reporting that their phone calls and their cell signal was not very good on 12.3 and they were getting the call failed alert on their phone. So this modem firmware update, once again, uh, with iOS 12.4 beta one may solve those issues. It probably will solve those issues. So if you were having any kind of issues with cell connectivity, you may want to go ahead and update to iOS 12.4 beta one, but only if you were having a lot of issues with connectivity. So yeah, like I said, there are no outward facing features or changes. Those are being saved for iOS 13. Obviously we're in such a late stage of iOS 12. You really cannot expect any kind of new features at all in iOS 12, since they're all being saved for iOS 13, which is just a few weeks away. You know, we're going to see the first beta of iOS 13 on June 3rd on or around June 3rd for WWDC. So I cannot wait for that. Of course, I will be covering it here on the channel. So definitely make sure you are subscribed and staying tuned to the channel for that. Now, as far as battery life and performance, performance goes obviously it's way too early to tell I've not been using this for very long at all and you know there's really not going to be a difference I can't imagine in battery life or performance going from 12.3 to 12.4 I highly doubt Apple really even touched anything related to either battery or performance again it was probably just aimed at getting as prepared for the Apple card and maybe some background security fixes and things like that so I highly doubt Apple touched anything to do with battery or performance so of course you should not update if you're looking for something like that with this new beta so yeah you guys know I like to bring you updates on these iOS versions regardless of how big or small the updates are. I like to keep you informed of everything going on with Apple and iOS. So I hope you guys did enjoy this short update video on iOS 12.4 beta 1. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also leave a comment down below if you did update and if you found anything new at all. And of course, make sure you guys do subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming iOS 13 content. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.